Nepal earthquake. Teenage boy rescued after five days. The teenage boy has been rescued after surviving for five days in the rubble of a building, following an earthquake that killed some 5,500 people in Nepal. A huge crowd cheered as rescuers brought the boy out of the rubble in the capital, Kathmandu. The boy has now been taken to a field hospital. Meanwhile, bad weather is hampering the delivery of relief to remote villages, a Nepali government spokesman said. The government has been criticized for its response to the disaster. Outside the capital, the relief effort has relied heavily on helicopters, with mountainous roads blocked by landslides triggered by the earthquake. Black semi a spokesperson for Nepal's Home Ministry, told the BBC that helicopters loaded with rescue workers and relief materials were ready to fly but had been held back by rainfall and cloudy conditions. In Kathmandu, rescue workers from Nepal and the U.S. worked for hours to free the boy from the rubble of the building. The boy, identified as Pambalamar, eventually emerged blinking into the sunlight. He was carried away on a stretcher with a blue brace strapped around his neck, and has now been taken to an Israeli-run field hospital. The BBC CEO Gid Alim tweets that the boy told her he survived by drinking water from wet clothes and eating from pots of clarified butter. Andrew Olvera, an official from the U.S. Agency for International Development, earlier told the Associated Press news agency that the boy had been trapped between the collapsed floors of the building but was not too far down. On Wednesday night, Nepalese soldiers in the town of Bhaktapur, on the outskirts of Kathmandu, reportedly rescued an 11-year-old girl from earthquake rubble. The girl was freed from a damaged building in the town's Datatra Square, according to a tweet from Kunda Dixit, the editor of the Nepali Times newspaper. Meanwhile, climbing is expected to resume next week on Mount Everest, where avalanches triggered by the earthquake killed 18 people. Damaged ladders in an area of the mountain known as the Kumbu Icefall would be repaired within the next few days, according to the chief of Nepal's tourism department. Tulsi got him. There is no reason for anyone to quit their expedition, he said. No supplies frustration has been growing in parts of rural Nepal all over the pace of relief efforts, with some badly affected villages yet to receive any assistance. Survivors in some areas told the BBC that they were angry that neither food nor medicine had reached them. The UN has a